Hello everyone, this is Rachel. I decided to see if I can try one of Roxy's weekly challenges. I'm already nervous enough that, <laughs> that I've already restarted this just because I keep messing up my words. But I'm just going to keep on, keep on going. I usually don't like to craft live and talk because I can't, I just lose my words. <laughs> I lose my words. I hope I hope I'm not the only one, so I'm just going to keep on going. But I am having uh, man, you guys, I'm just having a bad day and a lot of anxiety, worried about work, everything else. I'm going to light this candle. I'm sorry about the glare. I forgot to put down my cutting mat and once I get going, it won't be so bad. But I'm going to light this cranberry apple crisp candle. I should have trimmed the wick on. And, oh, that smells so good. So, I don't know what the number week is. So, this will be week one for me. For me. Um, but this is making the library pocket tags. I tried one out last night and... I thought it was really cute. I kind of trimmed the page a little too much. I used this How to Know the Wildflowers book, which has some really beautiful illustrations in it, but the pages are really nice and I think will hold up good as a pocket. So I'm going to go ahead and tear that page out since I'm right on one without an illustration. So I want to make one out of that paper. If I have time, I'll decorate that one too. I have a map page I dyed with tea. I have this instruction paper from an Ikea. It's like this is just from the table, but I like this size here is so a little bit bigger. I think it'll make a short, short chunky folder. And half of a magazine page. <laughs> so, so I'm kind of curious to see how each of them kind of turn out. I really don't have any plans for them in terms of what I want them to go in, but I was thinking about doing some fall stuff. So I cut out these little squares from a, a scrapbook, little fall book I got. And I just have some little bits and pieces of stuff to see about decorating them. I think that's what's going to be uh, the most difficult for me. Like when I do videos, I usually have it all planned out because if I have to do it in front of a video, I'm just worthless. And I got a couple washi tapes out that are a little wider. And um, if you know me already, you know I have a crap ton of washi tape. So, and stamps. So we'll see We'll see what I can make. So I can already hear the neighbor's dog, so let me shut the window. All right, I'm going to set a timer for 40 minutes. I'm not sure if I will go that long, if my phone will cut out, I'm seeing how much time I have left on it to record. If it cuts out, then I'll do a little um, video at the end with everything done. So let's get started. It's weird for me to do something time because once I get off of work, I don't want to be timed because I have to be, have productivity I have to make during the day. So I always feel like 
I'm watching the time and how much I'm doing. I guess I could have decided which one I wanted. So on this one, I actually trimmed the bottom part of the page off, which made it too short. So this will make it, it'll be this way, wild oats. That'll be kind of cute. Trying to think. I feel so awkward. It's really, I'm telling you, it is very awkward to record yourself and, <laughs> and just talk on the fly. It's so hard to get used to. I listen to myself back when I record uh, lectures for that class I'm doing and I don't want to sound stupid so I kind of I pause so much when I talk and my husband had told me before sometimes he thinks I'm finished talking because of how long I pause I'm like I don't pause that much and when I listen to myself record it I'm like oh my word he's right I can't tell him but he's right I pause so much it's also hard to it's hard to just do things when you know you're being recorded it's like having someone stand over you <laughs> like in school when you're trying to work um but I had started recording some YouTube videos before I started recording the lectures. So I honestly think that helped me be a little bit more relaxed for those videos, but um, <laughs> not, not too much because the pauses, when I'm trying to edit, edit those, they really drive me insane. This punch has just been you know, not pulling its weight. I don't know if it's because it's just the page. Like it's just too, I don't know, soft. So I'll try this one. This is a, I think the We Are Memories Keeper. Yeah, one. I like that. Yeah, I'm glad I didn't trim them off. Look how much better that looks. I hope you can actually even see what I'm doing. I changed the angle of the clamp I have the camera on, which is my um, old phone, to see if I could get more in view. Because I noticed when I was recording some videos, like everything was just in your face. I'll just glue this bad boy down. Oh, that's awesome. I don't know why I'm surprised. <laughs> surprised. <laughs> Do you feel that way too? Like when you make something and, and it actually turns out okay? Are you kind of like... Are you surprised it turned out okay? I am sometimes, especially when I'm just not sure what I'm doing. Well, that's kind of pretty. So I'm going to leave the torn edge as the top part of the pocket. I'm just trying to figure out which side. Because I think this, this beehive brick oven, oh my gosh, is so pretty. Mmm. We'll come back to it. All right. Now, the map pages. I was thinking, yeah, let's do that in half. And we'll do two. These look like they're going to be a little bit bigger, right? Better close up the glue. I also feel like I I need to keep talking so that which side do I want up? You know I'm still here. I think this side. Because I'm not I'm not gonna add music 
two of these. It'll just be me yapping. I'm not really even sure if you can hear. I have a fan on in the background to keep the air moving. In here. Because it gets a little stuffy. Actually, that's a really good size. That works out. Perfect. Let me cut those. I have been to, <laughs> to both of these states. This page has the upper part of Mississippi, which I'm not sure if I've been to anything north of the coast in Mississippi. I lived on the coast in Biloxi. I have been to Minneapolis for a couple days. And it did include a very short trip to the Mall of America. Which I'm kind of glad it was a short trip. <laughs> but then I wasn't because... Because I didn't spend too much money. But you know, all of those stores in there, you know where I am? where I ended up going <laughs> was Sears because they had the jeans that I liked to wear at the time there and we were living in Florida at the time came up for a vacation uh, to see my ex's family in Minneapolis and then traveled down to Ohio to see my family. And it was June, which was hot F in Florida and very cold st still in Minnesota. So we ended up going, I wanted some jeans. I seriously just brought shorts with me. I don't know what I was thinking. I got two pair of jeans because they had them on sale <laughs> and some sweatpants because I was freezing. And that was the only store I went in. <laughs> and the Mall of America was uh, freaking Sears. It's not boring. But there was, I don't, you know, I really don't know what the rush was, why we couldn't walk around. It kind of felt like our, uh, our trip there was kind of already planned out and if we deviated, you know, from it. Anyway, let's talk about something else. But I was happy to get back to Ohio to see my family on that trip. Does she always ask everyone, how's everyone doing? Did I ask that? I feel like I should have asked that. Because I feel really awkward. And honestly, I'm surprised I've been alone for most of this. Um, Honeybee is sitting next to me in her, what is it called? Is that a canopy? It's a, oh, window hammock. Oh, that's too much glue. Window hammock I got off of Amazon. Usually when I start talking, um, to record, she's just like, must go crazy. I must go nuts and it gets <laughs> pretty irritating okay which one of these do I want to use let's just go ahead and rip them up because I think there are pretty good size already they are really thin Um, 
but like what um, Roxy had said too, all of these are going to be glued down in a book. Oh, that creaking is my chair. I'm sorry if that's annoying. It's annoying me and I'm sitting here. I think I want to use yeah, this one, this way. I'm not a huge fan of the little guy on the back for some reason. Um, I really don't know why. So, so we'll use this side. Let's see what else happened today. Um, it rained, has been raining almost all day. So this is like the first cold day, I guess, of fall for us here. So that'll have to go in like a wider, that might be good for like a journaling card then. So I usually, so I do work from home already. I work full time for a small hospital system as a certified coder. So I'm already at home. And so when I get up, I basically change into my daytime pajamas to come down to go to work. But today, so I wear tank top and shorts when I'm at home and today I was actually a little chilly and went back upstairs on my first break and got some uh, some leggings to wear so I have 27 minutes left. I think I want to go ahead. Oh, that one's nice and blank. The top. I really like all of the. Yeah, we'll do this one. Save the other two for another project. But yeah, it was really chilly today. And then in the afternoon, it did warm up some, but oh, it just felt nice. It just finally felt like fall. We had a couple of those um, cooler days and then it got warm again. And I'm like, are you freaking, ser are you freaking serious? I'm ready. For cooler weather I'm ready ready for pumpkin season fall pumpkin spice so they did finally have pumpkin spice creamer which was weird to drink on a really hot day <laughs> like it just kind of felt wrong well I tell you all what else felt wrong is I they had pumper pumper <laughs> Wow. Peppermint mocha creamer. And I'm like, oh, yes. I got that. And I had not been able to bring myself to open it. And I decided to have a cup of coffee today after my just stressful day. <laughs> it's like a treat. Oh, man. It was like, oh, it was so good. It was so good. So, so good. Let's glue these bad boys down and start decorating. That looks pretty good. It is bad, is it? Really flimsy. That's okay. I do like the, oh, I got around the corners on those other ones too. I 
don't know why the little guy on here creeps me out so much. He's all happy to call customer support. Like, who's happy to, to call customer support? Uh, although, you know, you can have really good experiences with customer support when they're helping you. So, so maybe it's after um, they helped him figure out what his problem is. I keep checking on my computer. So I don't know how the audio is going to work with this. I don't know if my phone will pick everything up. So I'm recording with headset too, just in case. And the headphones are making me warm. Well, actually, I think it's the the hot light kind of making it, making me feel a little toasty. You know, I think, put on my glue, I think I'm going to find a different magazine page to use sometime because I really like that uh, oven there. This is from, I think, con Country Living? Super cute. Okay, so we have these to do. Maybe this. I've got, <laughs> I've only got 22 minutes left. Yeah, so I'll probably just get uh, one or two because I can already tell I'm going to have a problem trying to figure out what I want to decorate with. I got these little vellum books from Ally Ally Express. And some of the English words on them are just odd. When life is difficult and when everything turns bad, always remember that even a turtle can finish a race as long as he never gives up. You know, that's true if the turtle knows um, that they are actually in a race. So, so that's not really um, an inspirational quote that I think I would go uh, with. So I am just going to cut this fussy cut, I guess it's called. Cut it out. Oh, wow. Yeah, good job. I cut off the edge of it because I think it's really pretty. I have this little four and a half by six and a half inch sheets of paper from the paper studio. I picked this up at, I think, Hobby Lobby. And I really wanted to, they are not patterns. Some of these are not patterns I would normally pick. So I'm trying to go a little bit out of my comfort zone with trying something new, um, which was why I got this one, I believe. The scales are pretty. I love this flower one. Fall colors, fall. Mm, let's start with the fall. Ooh, that's pretty. Let's see if this matches. Looks okay with any of these. Kind of like the give thanks one. What happened to my shroom? That's kind of pretty. Uh-huh. It's pumpkin season. That's cute. So let's do... Let's just do one fall. 
definite fault like this. Give thanks. Such turkey day or whatnot. And I want to punch those corners. Even on these little cards. I love having the corners punched. Which one do I want to put this one on? I don't really want to cover up a map one yet. Oh, that fits kind of perfectly on there. What if we put it in the middle? And now I like it to the side. So we could just do this across, this don't really match. I'm already having some anxiety about doing this on camera and having you, <laughs> you all watch me flubber around because I don't know what I want to do. I think I'm going to pause for, no, I can't pause because I can't pause the other thing. I'm just going to power through it. We can do it. I'm just going to think like I'm doing an envelope. So, I want to cover that up somehow. So I can do about, oops. Sixteen minutes. <laughs> Sixteen minutes left. It's all right. I think honestly, decorating will probably be better for me to do off camera. Maybe. Since that's so busy, let's leave that one for a second. I want to at least get two done. Okay, on this one. I need something a little bit more contrasting. Color so you can see it more. Scraps. So for the longest time, I honestly just threw everything away. All the scraps and stuff. Just pitched them. And now I have this little box that is driving me nuts already <laughs> because of the different sizes, which I like having that option. I mean, it sounds like I can't just get anything done with my anxiety, but I swear I can. like this houndstooth. I have no idea why. I just love, love 
pounds tooth. I did a mushroom envelope for my challenge this month with a houndstooth, that houndstooth print on it. And oh my gosh, it was so cute. kind of like the bird there and then I think I'll do I feel like when I dye um, paper with the tea dye I feel like it kind of feels thinner after or just a little bit um, more brittle. Mm. I kind of like that there underneath it actually. We'll leave the other part of it blank. Oh no, this thing was messing up on me. <sighs> Yesterday, I should have known better. Let's see if I can get it to release. Without cutting myself. just gets stuck. Oh my gosh, look what it did. What is up with you? I kind of feel like these just aren't sharp anymore. Mm, that's not going to work. This whole thing was a little pointless, but how can I fix that? Could just do that. Just try to save it a little bit so I don't have a um, meltdown on cam <laughs> on camera. Wouldn't that be um, a little awkward? Because it's just been one of those days. Oh, ooh, that's kind of cute. to grab that little corner. Just a little bit of wet glue under there. Um, I mean, it is what it is. I think if I want to do um, punches, I need to, one, figure out what is up with this little one and do it before I do that. I hope I'm still um, actually recording or this would be, yeah, even more awkward <laughs> than it is. Oh, gosh. Okay, so what if we do this on here with it? Is that a 
Maybe we'll get one turnout kind of cute. That would be great. Do another little label. Ooh, I like that yellow. I like, like that. And then I don't remember who I was watching say that vellum won't curl with this barely art glue. So let's try it, which I think was actually just easier to put it on there. <clears throat> yeah. That's looking cute. Cute paw tubes. So what is, what are y'all having for dinner? I think we're going to have fish and rice. We ate at O'Charlie's last night, which was weird to eat out, um, but there was hardly anybody there, so I felt kind of okay going in, um, and we just sat away from people. What if I do? And my husband got the fish and chips. And, oh man, that fish was so, so good. So good. So I think next time we go, I'm going to get the fish. I'm going to think about the berries. That's so different. I've been really, really just trying to do, try different techniques and It's kind of working okay. I'm going to do a red. Something with red on it. That's really cute. A rat. Let's glue that. I'm going to do that over here. Let's glue this bad boy down. Or bad girl, or however they identify down. Let's 
No, you stay over there, honey. Now she's interested in what I'm doing, so it's kind of glad <laughs> I'm almost done. See, it's still curling, so I'm not ooh, definitely curling. That does not go on there. Maybe I'm just doing it differently than they did. They might have spread the glue out on it. I kind of just did some beads around it. Oh, that's really cute. Sorry, that was high pitched. Oh, I like that. So we've got three going. Let's see if I have two minutes. Oh, no. Two minutes. Two minutes. Let me see what I have in my scrap. Green stuff. I really don't want to cover. I know. I know. I know. Let's get it out. These washi stickers. I have a minute. Uh. Oops, I went over the edge. You know, I think I just put that on there upside down, didn't I? <laughs> it's okay. I have this gnat flying around driving me crazy. I still feel like it needs something. I'm about to run out of went okay except for when I had the um, snafu with the punch well you can really see oh man is it curling curling Maybe I just needed to hold it. Don't want to flip you off. Yeah. That's all right. So that's, that's it. How embarrassing I try to record and there's a fly everywhere. I'll finish up this one. 
and show you what they look like all done I guess thanks so much for watching I hope you enjoyed it a little bit <laughs> if so please like please like my video um, please subscribe I will try to continue to do her challenges because I really had a good time <laughs> for most of it <laughs> um, and it's it was fun to challenge myself and to do something different. Are you serious? I'm freaking mad. Anyway, I hope you have a good rest of your day. And I will talk to you later.